Um, I noticed is he? from the... Is he? Is Ron Gould from, uh, that, uh, the is statements that? on who talked what? before, there have been discussions on artificial intelligence, on extraterrestrial intelligence, on relations between machine and man intelligence. I think I'm going to talk about human social intelligence. So if you live in a hole, we landed on Mars this week again, and this is just a feat in and of itself. It's amazing. It had me thinking about an old resource that is freely available online that you may or may not know about, and it is by Israel Gold Diamond. You probably haven't heard of Izzy Gold Diamond, and I unfortunately myself was unable to meet him, but his work lives on through his books, through his students, and through some other small facets like this audio piece that I'm gonna share with you today. And these are the records she kept. I first ran into one of his students, Joe Lang, online, with one of our early interactions actually being him sharing his experience at the Johnson Space Center. That is a part of NASA. He was a behavioral scientist that was out there helping with one of the human behavior problems that they ran into. I'll read a short excerpt for you. I began by listening to tapes of astronauts living on our first, rather small space station, Skylab. What? There was an issue about them getting along. After listening for a while, it was clear that they were housing two alpha males in a small house trailer they could not leave. The solution was obvious. I've linked that whole actual excerpt down below. It's really interesting. And Joe gave a, a reference to a paper that he actually talked about the Association of Behavior Analysis before it was international. But I'm more so interested in talking to you today about why Gold Diamond actually matters. Ways of developing control over behavior in a positive way and it becomes an ingenious an inventive system. See, first of all, he developed a conceptual model that is not taught in traditional behavior analytic schools. You would have to go to one of maybe two schools in all of behavior analysis in all the world to actually experience his conceptual model. So if you got used to the three term and four term contingency, he has a totally different model that has, I don't know, seven or eight different terms in it himself and some alterations the way they look at consequences too. Second of all, he worked on developing a model that helped 100% of people that were experiencing stuttering overcome that. And at the second session in the program, he's down to about three or four, and thereafter, he is down to zero stutters all the way through as his rate of speech is changing. That is right. I said 100%. That's insane also linked below, and he was a part of the constructional interview, creating this interviewing process that Joe Lang actually applied in that NASA astronaut example that I gave you beforehand. I worked with NASA on, 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 the, on the creation of settings and how do you sustain uh, a large human population in space. And again, that's right, Joe Lang brought that tool to NASA. So if you're interested in any or all of this, I've linked all of this down below and I encourage you to check them out. I'd love to keep the discussions going. I'm gonna tag Joe in this as well. He has no clue what's going out. It's just an awesome area of behavior analysis that I really think should get some more light. And for students, your two lessons in behavior analysis, because I promise those. Do your literature review. Just because something like this is over 50 years old, this is actually a different one. The operant control, operant methods and space technology is nothing to do with Gold Diamond's work. It's a totally separate work over 50 years ago that is still relevant when you're talking about some of the areas of research. Don't underestimate old research. Be skeptical, but don't oversee it. It's very nerdy, but it's very exciting and very cool stuff. I linked it also down below. And number two, talk to the older people in behavior analysis. They have so much wisdom to share and they can help us overcome having to relearn the things that they've already learned themselves. They can save us so much time, but they can also be such a draw for inspiration. I've heard of a few programs this year that were taking their first steps and trying to work with NASA and claiming it as like a pioneering work and not to discredit that, but there is some extensive elaborate history here and the folks in behavior analysis, usually with those 25, 30, 40 year old badges when you go to the conferences, those are the folks that know about it. All of this is shared down below. Thank you for your time. If you're into this, hit a like, hit share. Tell the world about behavior analysis and space and I don't know, tag a colleague. That's your daily BA. Then we can start analyzing what's going on and what changes in terms of you know, man system relations rather than assuming that the system is developing. Uh, here we go gathering nuts in there.